I'm Josh Whitman, CEO of Whitman Technological. Before we can finish designing the parts that are going to make up Nefli's feet, we need to know what the gear ratio will be between the wheel and the stepper motor. An important piece of information that we'll need to design that is how fast can the stepper motor reliably spin. We can use that information in conjunction with the outer circumference of the wheel to figure out what a reasonable top speed will be for the robot, and that will tell us how much control the stepper motors are going to have over the individual angles of the tires on the feet. The entire Nephili project is possible because of the software that I sell, Moneylender Professional. If you or someone you know has loans that they are managing, where they need to calculate interest and send monthly statements, please consider checking out Moneylender Professional. It's a really awesome system. It makes it very easy to track the balances, very easy to generate statements, reports, do your taxes, help your borrowers do their taxes. It's a really cool setup. I wrote it myself. I spent 15 years writing this software. It's really, really neat. If you know somebody who's managing loans, tell them to check out Money Lender Professional. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. When we get 100 subscribers, I'll show you my top secret laboratory. So let's set up our hardware, plug in the breadboard, wire up all the circuits. Unfortunately, I did fry one of my stepper motor controllers. I usually fry something in the process of testing anything out, so I'm not surprised by that. But uh, we'll get her all set up. We'll start running the motor and see how fast it can reliably spin. Uh, I wrote some code here in Arduino, and eventually I got it working. And we can control uh, how fast we want the motor to spin. So if we upload this one, it should make the motor spin at 100 RPM, or roughly 1.6 or so revolutions per second. So, okay, that didn't work. Perfect. Probably the uh, USB port is different. Port is now COM8. There we go. Okay. Uh, so now if we push that code onto the Arduino, okay, now we should see a nice clean 100 RPM looking good. Um, that looks great. Let's go to, uh, let's say 300. We need to know how fast this sucker is going to spin reliably. So if we put it out at 300 RPM, oh yeah, that's not fun. That's not happy at all. Let's try uh, 250. So if we go 250 RPM, let's see if that gives us reliable movement. Oof, it was a hard start, but now it's spinning pretty well. Um, in the real world, we're not gonna go to, we're not gonna just suddenly go full speed and try to like uh, burn rubber or whatever. We're not gonna spin the tires. So there's a good one. Oh, actually that jitter at the beginning, that's probably just when it's programming the chip. And then when the chip's booting up, it's getting some uh, some kind of static going into the uh, stepper controller, and it's doing some bad things. But 200 looks good. If we change the direction pin, we can make that low, and that will um, reverse the direction. Hopefully that's backwards. I don't remember anymore what direction it was going, but... Um, so we want to know, you know, how fast can we reliably make the motor spin? Because we're going to want to give as much resolution as possible to our hardware. So when we're designing the gearing for the wheels for Nephili's feet... Okay, so 400 it can't even start. If we kickstart this motor, it'll start spinning. But if it just tries to start from nothing... And it's probably pretty tough to stop even... Oh... Yeah, nope, that's that's definitely leaving a mark. Um, let's see if we can quickly... That was our chance. We did it! <laughs> okay, so it's like 400 is touch and go. Um, I would say probably 300. I think if we go to 60, this is one revolution per second. Just so you can see like how nice and precise everything is. Um... Yeah, so now it's like uh, one revolution per second, which is slow and, and sounds terrible. But um, most of the time, the stepper motor is going to be trying to keep Nephili upright. So it's going to be stepping just one step forward or backwards to just 
kind of keep it balanced perfectly vertically. Um, so the more authority we can give the motor over the um, or the the higher the resolution, the more uh, control it has over the actual rotation of the wheels at very slight levels, the better we'll be able to balance ourselves in a very subtle way where it's not jerking back and forth and constantly wobbling, but it'll actually be making much more subtle balancing movements. At least that's the hope anyway. Like all things, it's all just kind of, let's see what happens and I'll usually burn stuff out. That is only, that chip maybe costs like $2. I burned out a, uh, a $200 uh, motherboard uh, on the Nephili project earlier by reversing the voltage. I, I don't think that was exactly what I did. I, I blew out a 12 volt um, power regulator by reversing its voltage and then trying to draw current through it and it got really mad and it stopped working. And I think I did the same thing with a 5 volt one. I always <laughs> reverse this. I'm really good at this. Uh, so, you know, that's why there's lots of burnt out stuff sitting around everywhere. <laughs> but that's also why I always buy like uh, a few of something. Because I'm usually going to make mistakes and break it. A nice clean 200. Yeah, 200 is looking really good. I'd say we could probably even push it to uh, 300 is about as fast as I'll probably want to set up the gearing. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. 300 maybe. Let's try 350. And then we'll we'll just be able to tell here um, when we do the gears based on, you know, the circumference of the wheels and the maximum speed that it's reasonable for the robot to be traveling. That will tell us what gear ratio we want to use so that 300 RPM on the motor equates to that much distance on the outer surface of the tire. So now that we know this critical piece of information, we uh, were ready to start designing the actual wheel mechanics um, of the control system for Nephili's feet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out Moneylender Professional, our sponsor for everything that we do. Please subscribe when we hit 100 subscribers. We'll get a top secret lab reveal. I'm Josh Whitman with Whitman Technological. I love science and I hope you do too. Nice.